<laughs> okay, you're jumping off the dock. You're jumping off. Jump. Good girl. Good girl. Hey guys, you Otto Scotty here. Just uh, figure I'd give you an update on the uh, dock situation. We are having a good time. We're having a little bit too much fun actually. Uh, today is going to be a fun day. We got some modifications to make to the dock. I've got two 150 pound concrete blocks here with galvanized hooks in them. I could have made these myself, but I, I didn't. These are about 69 bucks from the uh, dock place, uh, La Fantasy Dock. They've been a very, very good company to deal with. More than happy to spend the money and get this stuff from them. I priced it out making these concrete blocks and it just didn't make sense. Plus, they're, they're just nice. Nice, well done. And this is, I'm super excited to add this to the dock. This is um, aluminum bench. This is going to look so nice. Uh, I've been sort of saving up for this for a little bit here. So finally bought this. We're going to add this to the dock. We've got two more of these uh, chain mounts because we're the one thing about the dock that is sort of a, a, an issue right now because it's only a 6 by 12 section it's not very wide so when you're on it 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 sort of accordions in, in, in the middle it, it does this a lot so what we want to do is brace it in the front and in the back so that it's super solid so when you're walking on it it stays put so that's where we're going to try and make those modifications today this stuff is just beautiful I love this uh, this stuff they do such a good job uh, it's not cheap stuff by any means but it's uh, it's worth it and it's a Canadian company I, I like to support the local guys that are doing good work uh, decent welding Jayla also got herself a fishing rod holder so that you can fish off the dock and just put a rod in and I guess just leave it there. She really wanted this, so she got that, so we'll install that today. That's that's about it. So we're gonna try and stabilize the dock. We're gonna put the bench on. Oh, and we've got 30 foot of chain. We're gonna actually have to check that with the chain links. Make sure that this is, uh, I priced this out to uh, the, the chain buying the chain from like say somewhere like Home Depot and just didn't make sense and I wasn't sure if I could get the right size to fit the fit these brackets so I just decided to spend the money and get the proper stuff we've been on the dock pretty much every day uh, we were there yesterday with one of Jayla's friends uh, we swam uh, uh, we, 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 we were in the water we were in the water all day, all day. I actually have been kind of behind on my work because, um, you know, I've been swimming so much. But you know what? I'm, I'm not, I'm not. That's, I'm not upset about that. You know, I, I spend, you know, all the summers I've had up here, uh, so far have been just me working on stuff, and I never really get in the water too much. Uh, but so this summer's sort of the opposite, and you know, leaving. You know, there's always the fall to do projects, and uh, you know, I've I've done a lot of stuff as well. You know, I was on the roof last week. I, I redid some of the ceiling on on the roof of uh, Cherry Pie here, and uh, I've done some stuff to Cherry Pie, and not a whole lot. And I've also done some stuff to Peanut Butter Cup over here, um, <laughs> but. Uh, not not a whole lot unfortunately because uh, I've been swimming swimming <laughs> and enjoying the summer and it's um, sort of the first time that I've I've done that and uh, I don't feel bad about it I really don't feel bad about it you know I'm I'm having a lot of fun and you know we we really battled for that 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 property that waterfront it was it was not easy it was a hard hard battle so and we're enjoying it now so you know i'm happy I'm, I'm happy so we're gonna do the bench today we're gonna make some modifications to the dock we're gonna see if we can get it to stabilize itself a little bit more and um yeah i'm looking forward to it so we'll share that 
And uh, yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's going on? What? I think uh, I think I got some sandwiches ready for me. So I'm gonna have a sandwich. We're gonna head to, head to the lake. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have some sandies here before we go to the lake. And uh, Zoe is uh, very jacked up about that. And Jayla's got some nice sandies ready for us. Super stoked. All right. Hundred and fifty pounds each. Let's take, a, let's take a break here for a sec. Had a fire here last night. She all burned down nice. Looking good, looking good. Alright. Almost everything we need down here. I show you guys what the uh, what the issue is, and it's a it's a minor issue, but it's it's uh, it's an annoyance to the point where I'd like to uh, fix it. So, so uh, this dock it's been great. Like I said, <coughs> we just stained it again. Looks wonderful uh, because this is just a six by twelve section. It's not very wide. So when you're on a, an end of it, it uh, buckles up here, especially when you're getting up the ladder. It really dips down low on one end. And uh, you know, especially you've got three people on the dock, it really lifts this end up really quite a lot. And also, you're standing in the middle, it's not, that's not such a big problem because there you got the support of the float here as well as the floats on this end. It's really just at the extreme ends you can see you know when Jayla and I are on the dock or you can see how it's just me here you can see how lopsided it gets. It gets sort of accordions in the middle there. So I'd like to get these weights in the water. Should do the trick. Other than that, everything's holding together nice. Mounts I did here, looking real nice. We've been enjoying it a lot, so it's pretty dirty, but I've got the motor mount for it on one end here. All right, that was pretty straightforward to get in. It's pretty well designed. I like the way this stuff goes. Just has these little aluminum billets that turn in that channel there. And Those need to be, but some sticks in there. Hmm. 
All right, I got both the uh, chain plates installed on either side. I think I got too much chain here. I got 15 foot of chain on each side, but I think that's way too much, but that's all right. I can have some extra chain in case I want to do something with that in the future. water shoes. Yeah, that's better, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. Like we're both sitting on the front. We're on the front right now. It's level, almost. It's not cool. super level. We can make it jump. Yeah, you can hear the blocks. Yeah, that's why. Is there any way to move it over like slightly? I just think having the weight closer to the middle would be beneficial. Coming in, Zoe. Coming in. Come on. Okay, we got everything installed. Didn't really turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out, and I realize I've got my theories. So the main section of the dock is very small. Yeah, it didn't really work out the way I thought it was going to work out. However, I think it's better than better than what it was, and I really wanted to try that to see if we can improve that situation. Is unfortunately sort of sort of the same. You see I've got, uh, I actually changed it around. I've got, got a chain on this side that's running diagonally now. Diagonally this way to a block on that side and vice versa. And yeah, I think it's better. I'm not sure. The front, I need to make some adjustments up in front too. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's better or not. 
Honestly, it seems about the same. Anyways, that's sort of maybe a waste of money, but got the bench, so that's good. Yeah, the bench is good. I had the bench over here, but it's a bit of kind of the same problem. You sit on the bench and then the dock is doing a little dock pop a wheelie, you know, and it's just not super comfortable. Here on this end, you're getting a little bit less of that. I mean, it's a cantilever action, right? So you got the bench is sort of counteracting against that much dock instead of that much dock. That's my physics explanation for it. But yeah, we're sitting on it right now, and it's pretty good. I like uh, I like it this way. It's not it's not um, uh, it's good. I mean, yeah, sitting on the it's uh, much better, and you can sit here and face whatever way you want. And Jayla's got her fishing rod holder here. So yeah, it's good. Th th this works much better on this end. This situation here with the dock sort of bending in the middle still still is kind of a, an issue. I'm not sure what to do about that. Be good if I could secure it permanently to the bottom with a couple poles here you know I do have I do have these things here and I've got a thread here you know, if I had a couple piece of galvanized pole I could theoretically send that down and somehow hook it to the bottom I wonder if that's possible we'll, we'll, we'll look into it I think gotta get the snorkel on and see what's down there it's just this beautiful rock here it's so nice to get in and out on but uh, yeah the bench looks good a cleat there and a motor mount and I like it looks excellent so it's a little bit more fine-tuning required that's okay we're gonna bring um, and bring uh, so we're gonna have a little tote in here to install to just put bathing suits and stuff like that in but yeah I think the the bench looks good Yeah. Yeah, silly girl. Should have got some hot dogs and had leave them in the fire again. Now this here, this here is peppermint oil. Just water with peppermint oil mixed in. Early in the season, we seem to be having a, quite the problem with uh, yellow jackets and hornets and that kind of a thing. And I went around with this sprayer here. Just sprayed all the trees. Sprayed all the trees with it. 
going all around the property, spraying the trees. And it smells like candy canes. It's got a very pleasant smell. But apparently, hornets do not like this stuff. So it's, it's uh, safe to spray everywhere. And at the same time, I can't actually verify if that's what actually made the hornets go away, but we have not seen hardly any of them since I sprayed this stuff on the, all around the trees. Of course, it doesn't hurt the trees, it doesn't hurt the plants, it's just peppermint oil, so it's fine. But, um, we really have not had any hornets. There was a tree down here that was quite, quite the problem, right by the water. And uh, just went with this stuff here, and Jayla's family's coming, so yeah, I really didn't want hornets and stuff here. Kids are coming, so we're gonna have the kids here. And Jayla's brothers and stuff, so we didn't really want the, this tree right here. I was, uh, hornets were making a nest in here, and just sprayed the sprayed it down with the peppermint oil all around the bases of the trees there's the yellow jackets are at subterranean subterranean uh, wasp like to nest in the ground by the water so Anyways, it's, it's it, it, I don't, I can't, like I said, I can't, I can't guarantee that that's what made them go away, but they definitely, after I sprayed, they definitely stopped coming around, so, you know, I'm just walking the property with this peppermint oil. It seems to do the trick. Like to get it around the base of the base of the trees. That's where the yellow jackets. I did get stung here last year. There was a little bit of a nest in the ground. It wasn't a very big one. I got rid of it in a day, but still preventative preventative measures. Seem to be doing quite well. So I've uh, finished spraying the peppermint oil. And I do have some of this Roundup here. And I've been trying to use this. This is just Roundup weed killer. I'm trying to use this on some of this poison ivy up here. This doesn't work I'm sure this this maybe works for like weeds doesn't seem to work on poison ivy um, uh, but the stuff that does work is the roundup poison ivy like the specific roundup made for killing poison ivy which I do have and I have tried it in a previous video and it worked really really well so uh, we got <clears throat> lots of poison ivy up here for some reason not hardly any up top here but as soon as you get near the water like in here you get all kinds of it so this is the stuff that I used last time the stuff worked really well so I'm gonna start walking the property with with this stuff and We'll do another treatment, see if we can get rid of some more of this poison ivy. You'll never get rid of all of it, but, you know, there's a bunch of it in here. As you would see on my previous video that I treated and really did a good job. And since then, there's been quite a lot of it that has grown up elsewhere. So we're going to do another treatment with this Roundup 
concentrate poison ivy plus. I forget exactly how much you mix, but we got the uh, sprayer down here. A little bin here for putting water stuff and stuff we leave behind here. So it's just gradually getting set up, but um, we will do a little bit more of this. Let me just read the directions. Grow, Zoe. Sit down. Sit down. That's a good girl. Is that your is that your spot? Lie down. Lie down. That's a good girl. Need a cushion up there for you, right? Oh. <clears throat> Come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Mr. Leonard. Mr. Leonard. All right, so we got roughly a gallon of water in the sprayer. It's supposed to be six, six ounces. We'll put a little bit more than six in there. It's a little bit more than a gallon. It should be nice and nice and potent. Should do it. Should do the trick. It did did a really good job last time. All right. Always found a stick. Stick to chew on. So what do you got there? Sticks? That's okay. Searching for poison ivy. Actually, I put this down right on top of some. That right there is poison ivy. This over here, also poison ivy. Trying just to kill the poison ivy and nothing else, but uh, it's inevitable that some <coughs> other things will be affected. But it's nasty stuff. And there's a lot of it. Sort of camouflaged in here among the other shrubs, uh, ground growing greenery, but that's a bunch of poison ivy right there. Right here, there's a bunch. 
all in here sort of mixed in with the other plants but all of it has got to go okay come on come on Zoe jump jump okay she is too old for that I'm gonna go around. That's a good, that's a good girl. Come on, Zoe. Zoe, let's go. Come on. Good girl. Oh, here's see Daddy. That's a good girl. Having fun? Having fun? Okay, go see Mommy. Go see Mommy. Of the fire. You like that lake water, eh? It's good, eh? Go for another dip. Go on, get going. Let's go. Fire. Come on, me in. Help him, mommy. I find a place to sit down. Oh, that's not bad, Zoe. Good job. Come on, come up. Come on, come up. Come up, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jump. Oh, there you go. Okay, sit down.
the loon at? I hope I scared him away. <laughs> I look like a dork, eh? <laughs> you don't. You're hiding behind the camera. <laughs> you look like a YouTuber. <laughs> Turn it off. It's nice for her here because she can get in and get out really easily. It's a nice flat rock that kind of comes in. Hey, Zosers. You love it up here, huh? The bugs were kind of really bad in June, and we we're sort of worried that it was not going to be manageable, but they've died down. This whole throw is always a stick. <laughs> Zoe, look. It's a nice stick here for you. Oh, 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 you want that one? That's a nice one. Okay, you gotta get it. You gotta get it. Ready? Ready? Get it. Go on, get the stick. Oh, she loves it. She loves swimming. Good girl. Good girl. Nice job, nice job. No, 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 not on the towel, not on. Whoa! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Good girl, Zoe. This is their perfect rock to get out here. She really loves being in the water. Come on, let's go. Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, ready? Get some. <laughs> Mommy almost got it. <laughs> Good girl. Nice job. Nice job. How's the water today? Jump, jump. Zoe, jump. Go get mommy. Go on, Zoe, jump. Yeah. Okay, you're jumping off the dock. You're jumping off. Go get it. Go get it, Zoe. Go on. Jump. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, Zoe. That was a nice jump. She's pulling me back. <laughs> that was all her. <laughs> wow. Good job, Zoe. Good job. Nice. Nice work.
Wow, you're such a good swimmer. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Being silly. Bobby? Yeah. Can you help me? He came back to say hi. Where is he? I don't want to step on him. <laughs> You're making some funny faces. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to your spot. I'm going to go to your spot. Chilling rock right here. <sighs> Did you come with him? I don't think it's the same guy. Coming in? <laughs> Slippery. Flies are getting bad. Ow. <laughs> oh yeah. Look, got that guy. Nice. Okay. Look, he came to visit me. Yeah, he's thanking you. And then Zoe scared him away. There's actually I think there's another one stuck. Well, we can't save all of them. Yeah, there's actually a million that look the same, so it's probably not the so... same guy. I'm wearing your towel. Oh. <laughs> Alright, should we go? Yeah. Okay. Ready to go, I Zozer? Think that means I need to get a dragonfly tattoo. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's let's get going. Okay, Zoe, grab your things. Nice job. Did you see my sunnies? Uh -oh. No, I didn't. I didn't see your sunnies. Must have fallen off the back then. Do you think so? Well, gotta didn't be. You tuck them in. Gotta be in your bag. I. No, I didn't put them away. I left them on the dock. Oh really? Yeah, they were right here. Huh? Well, they're probably <laughs> in the lake now. <laughs> Are you sure you brought them down? They're right here. <laughs> Probably going to be a few more pairs of sunglasses in the lake by the end of the <laughs> end of the season. <laughs> I'm like losing sunglasses. Like. I can't believe it's like the third pair this year. 
That's why I get all my sunglasses from Princess Auto for $1.99. <laughs> She slept last night. She didn't move at all for well, like seven hours. She's been getting so so much. To force her to go outside. Getting so much sleep. Jayla and I are trying to figure out what, how what kind of a, a camping so solution we can do here. Is there any way? Probably is nowhere we could pinch a tent here though, right? Probably better up top. I mean. Could we put something here? Yeah, like with. Yeah, thanks for joining us. We'll update here from the uh, lakefront. Having a really good time here so far. Just want to spend more time up here, so we're just trying to figure out how we could sleep up here. We can't afford any any more trailers, unfortunately. Right now, we can't even get them in here. It's a pretty. Uh, we'd have to work on this driveway a little bit in order to get a trailer in here. And we got nothing to really, nothing that would really be suitable for getting stuff in here. It's, it's kind of a sharp turn here. It would be hard to get a trailer in. It's kind of hard to even get my, my car in. But anyways, we're heading out. See you guys soon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.